know, if you plan to use all Japanese all the time, as a guide for language learning. Here are the two worst pieces of advice on the AJAP website. 1. Only consume content made by natives or natives. The All Japanese All the Time website pretty clearly states that right from the beginning, you should only ever consume content made by natives or natives, even if you don't understand the content you're consuming. The reason for this is quite simple. Firstly, watching something that's entertaining and something you have an interest in, let's say a TV series in your target language, is much more enjoyable and will therefore capture your attention more than some contrived and simplified content made for beginner learners about a topic you've probably no interest in. Secondly, the input you get from something such as a TV series will be much more natural and closer to the way natives actually speak, compared to language that's purposely dumbed down for learners. These are all perfectly valid points. No matter what your level is, watching a TV series in your target language is always going to be infinitely better than watching some video explaining grammar that's probably 90% in English anyway. There's only one problem with this. If you're still a beginner, watching content made for adult natives will be very beneficial, and your progress will be incredibly slow and slow. Assuming you're careful about what you consume, I believe certain components for both of the components and the levels can be extremely helpful in the living stages. Even children in the native language want to be a book that's simplified, slowly spoken, quickly understood, and made more comprehensible as they would have got to understand the language, despite the study of the language. If you decide to use the levels of the other levels, damn, why did you pull four? Pull back! Children learning their native language learn through input that's simplified, slowly spoken, clearly enunciated, and made more comprehensible so the little brats can understand and acquire the language, despite their still limited abilities. If you decide to use content simplified for learners, however, there are a few things to keep in mind when choosing which content to use. One, make sure the content is any unnecessary translations and explanations about the language. While including explanations about the language means that you can do what you're getting in at the language, you're simply learning about the language without a true language. What would that be for them? If they don't use things like pictures, exaggerated gestures, or repeated phrases, they can be a much more comprehensible and they can acquire the language. Yeah! Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. 